like these. Uh, there's some chairs here. Yeah, we'll be talking over desks. Okay. Are we okay? okay. Or no one's it would be better if you're here. You don't like us back here? Well, you know, I mean, I can stand on the desk and say, all right. Okay. I want to ask some basic questions. Uh, number one, do all of you guys have something to write things down with? All right. We're going to talk about numbers. Uh, she asked me to talk about mindset, but my mindset plays with numbers. And my question for you is, how many of you know the numbers of your own business? Any hands? Any hands? How many have any idea of the numbers of your business? Okay, let me ask you a question. How much business in your target market area would be, in percentage terms, would be a lot for you? Would it be 2%, 5%, 10%, 25%, 50%? Anybody have a clue as to what you think? Market share? Market share. Let's talk market share. Individually? Individually. Forget the offers. 2% would be good. Okay. How big is your market? I mean, how many people in it? Pinellas County. Okay, so all of Pinellas County. Smaller. Well, how many, okay, so the question would be, how many of you go to all of Pinellas County? Have done all of Pinellas County? You've been to one end of the other. Okay, how many of you want to work one end of the other? Okay. Does anybody here want to work one end or the other? Okay, so let's talk about what is your target market first. Okay, now, number one, it can be divided into two things. Buyers, sellers, right? Okay, how many of you would rather work with a buyer? Now, by a show of hands, it doesn't matter. How many of you like working with buyers versus sellers? Buyers, raise high. One, two, three, four. Okay, how many like working with sellers? Like taking listings, okay, so a bigger number. Okay, how about anybody 50-50? They like working with both. I don't mind working. Okay, I don't mind working with both. Let me have one of those, I'm gonna need one. So. All right, so now, let's talk about how you guys define a target market and the sheets that I'm giving you here, these are my actual, this is, these are my numbers, okay? I go by numbers, all right, but now, Working backwards is, I got started in 2004 again, doing what I started in 1979, which was door knocking, okay? Prior to that, in 1979, I started on 600 houses, went door knocking every day, had to see 30 people a day. Um, then I did that for a year and a half and controlled the neighborhood within, I controlled all 600 homes. I had 50% of the sales okay, uh, of a declining market in there. But then I did a lot of mail after that. I mean, when we talk a lot of mail, I've done a lot of, a lot of everything. Mail at the time from 19, I'm gonna say 85 through 1995, I might do as many as 100,000 pieces of mail a month. Okay, when I say a lot of mail, I mean a lot of mail, okay? Then I went to Mike Ferry, I became a monetary <coughs> coach, actually. I learned how to make phone calls, and I made a lot of cold calls, all right? I, when I say a lot of cold calls, I mean, somebody, people have heard this. I made literally 120, let's call it 125,000 phone calls one year. I mean, that's how many times the phone dialed. I actually talked to over 22,000 people, okay? How many of you have worked on scripts at all as to what to say to people, okay? Do you know what to say to people? I know Julia does, okay? Do you know what to say to people? How many of you have ever heard this? Hi, my name is Joe Lukowitz. You wouldn't say that, but hi, my name's Joe Lukowitz, and I was just curious, when do you plan on moving? How many of you have ever heard that come out of somebody's mouth before? Really? Anybody? Yeah. Okay, I mean, that's in, that's in the Cobalt Banker script book. Hi, when do you plan on moving? How long have you lived at this address? Where did you move from? If you were to move, where would you go next? When would that be? So obviously you realize it takes, in our market, only 30 days to sell a house and about 30 days to close it. So if you could move in the next 60 days, would that be too soon for you? Wow. We're already qualifying, okay? I knew my scripts, all right? I also knew what the numbers did, okay? But then the, no call, the do not solicit list came out. And I just said, it, and it, 
when they first came out, they were really enforcing it, and they probably still will. You know, it goes up and down in phases. And coal banker's philosophy is do not call anybody on the do not call list. And candidly, like one of the things we're going to talk about is who you can call, how many numbers, is anybody available, but there's just not enough expireds to call right now. Okay, we're going to set coal banker, because I'll hear, uh, who's our trainer? Not, not, not Joanne Sloan. Who's the manager? No. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, it's just saying call expires. Get expired listings. Okay, Charles Richardson and, and who's the girl? Um, Joanne. Jo yeah, not Joanne. Um, Katie. Um, oh, Kate Rossi. Kate Rossi. Okay, call expires. I looked. I'm going to show you on some numbers. There's 55 expires in my side of town, okay, in the last three months. That's just in the market that I would want to do, okay? That's just not enough. So you have to do certain things. So here's my question for you guys. And have any of you thought about what your own personal target market would look like or would be or where you want to work or where you do work now? And somebody give me a suggestion. Where do you work now? Lansbrook. Neighborhood. What neighborhood? Uh, Elder West. Where? Lansbury. Crystal Beach. Oh. Crystal Beach. Elder West. Yeah, Lansbury. Right <laughs> Lansbrook? You said Lansbrook. Okay, I've been to Lansbrook. I know where that is. Okay. Anybody Clear else? Clearwater Beach. Clearwater Beach. Okay, good money there. Anybody else? Okay, no one else? Okay, Has, I'm going to make a suggestion because one of the things we're going to talk about is how to look at a target market, how much money is there to be made how much market share you've got to have to make that kind of money, and is it possible, okay? Now, because I can tell you some of the numbers I'm going to show you are from my side of town, and anybody who says they want to make a million bucks a year, okay, which is what I'd like to do, it's really hard, and it's a lot easier in Bel Air Beach. I can tell you, I've done the numbers, okay? Or Tierra Verde. I have really thought about working the beach, except that I'm so established where I'm at, and I really don't like the beach that much, but I do like the money at the beach. That's why when you say Clearwater Beach, there's a lot of money. I went four miles up and down looking at two miles from where we have a condo at the beach in Madeira and Reddington. We went, I went two miles up, two miles back, saw how many condos sold and what their, what their median prices were. By the way, I always use median prices. There's a lot of money to be made there, okay? I know who the, believe it or not, I know who the agents are that are doing all the business there. And I know who isn't really doing the business that you might think is doing the business. Okay, now my question for you is, have any of you guys ever looked at those markets like that at all? Yeah. You have, good, okay. Anybody else, well, have you looked at your own market and you said, you think so-and-so is doing it, do you know how much they've really done? Okay, perfect. All right, now let's go I'm going to backtrack here because where I'm talking about target markets, you don't have the sheet. But let me tell you the sheets that I've got here, okay? And here's how I plan my work. By the way, what I do, my main thing now is I started door knocking again back in 2004, all right? I really don't door knock at all now, all right? But we do go hit the streets every, it's like a solid three weeks of going, blasting out 8,000 door hangings. Like I was out for three hours this morning with the kids that I go out with, hanging stuff on doors, okay? We did, last week we did 3,600 houses that we actually put marketing materials on. We do that every 90 days, but this year we're gonna do it five times. Why? Because when I look at my numbers, I know how much money I made off of it, okay? Now, I, so back in 04, when I started out going door knocking, I said, because I had done 600 homes before, and remember, I said, I'm used to doing a lot of things. I said, I'm gonna do 3,000 houses, and I'm gonna hit them every 90 days, and I'm gonna go knock on every door, and I did that for, what was it, a year, year and a half, Julia, something like that? About a year, year and a half, where I actually, just me. Hi, my name's Joe Lukowitz. Just thought I, I now, I always bring them something. But when I first started out, I just went with my business card, okay? Just because I just got tired of saying, I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something. And, you know, how many of you have been there? 
you know, I've been, I've been there, done that. You know, I'm going to go out. I'm going to get it. I just took a handful of business cards and went out. Actually, went through two boxes of business cards. Then I came up with a little market study that I do on a regular basis. And now they go out with a notepad that goes out. You know, so it kind of evolved. I gave myself one year to get my first listing in those three thousand houses, and they already knew me. A lot of them already knew who I was. Now, here's the interesting thing. And here's what I find the more I'm in the business, especially when it's a semi-seller's market like it is now. And it, I would call it a real seller's market, except the appraisals suck. Okay, how many? I've had my appraisal issues today, so that's why. <laughs> but, I mean, it would be a real seller's market right now. Okay? When it's a real seller's market, it's hard to get a listing. You will be outpriced, outcommissioned, outbonded by everybody. And those houses will sell, okay? And that you have, you know, when you're trying to put together a solid plan, you have to work on that. So we're back to 2004, going out 3,000 houses, knocking on them, and now we're down to where I do 15,000 houses are in my market area that get something from me every 90 days. 8,000 8, of them, 7,000 of them via door, and 8,000 via mail, okay? My return on investment, and I want you to write this down because I happen to know this number, and if you're going to spend money and you want to do tests, so far, year to date, 3.2 times what I spent, okay? At the end of the year, I hope for that to be four, four times. I'm okay with it, and then it being three, I'll just spend more money, okay? Why? Because how much money are you going to make if you put it in the bank? What's the prevailing interest rates for savings? If you did really good in the stock market from a financial planner, or her husband's a financial planner, what are they going to say? If you guys get a 10% annual rate of return, are you doing pretty decent? Sure. Yeah, you're doing great. All right, 12% hedge funds, you know, they're, they're the guys who are saying we'll make you 16 or 20%. But I know what I spend my advertising on. I know where it goes. I know how each piece goes. I, I track everything that goes out, and I've done tests. And this is what I'm encouraging you to do. If you're going to do any advertising, if you're going to do door knocking, if you're going to make phone calls, if you're going to become a social marketer, okay, you have to have some way to check what the results are, all right? And what, how much of a return on investment you're going to make. But candidly, I'm willing to spend, I, you know, I just told my, mail, my direct mailer guy, because right before I came here, I dropped off 8,000 notepads for there for them to do the mail on. We've got a thing that works out. And he said business was really slow for him. And candidly, last year was my best year. I'm running slightly. Three days ago, I was running 60% ahead. Today, I'm running 50% ahead. That's because I don't like appraisers. You know, so, you know, we all run into those issues. But, so I'm running about 50% ahead of where I was last year. Last year, I spent $103,000 on advertising. That was my own personal budget. Okay, that's a lot of money. This year, I'll spend a minimum of $120,000, and that's my goal, and I don't think I pulled my goal sheet out. Um, there's another page in there that we can print out. Hold on one second. It's called goals and ratios or something like that. Hold on, guys. Okay. It's all right. Now, yeah. before I get rolling, anybody got a question? I'm more than happy to answer them before I get on a real door. Yeah. Uh, hanging doorknobs on isn't that soliciting? plastic bag with a pardon? Is that considered soliciting? Is my question. Might be. Okay, <laughs> but I don't knock on their door. Everybody likes them. I've been kicked out of neighborhoods. Okay. Well, uh, hold it. Here's a question for you. What's the speed limit on US 19? Right. 40. <laughs> 40. Who, who's gone? Fine. Who's gone 40 miles an hour on today? <laughs> who's gone 50? And 50 is, is 50 a felony or a high misdemeanor? What are you going to do? Okay. Now, granted, the no solicit on the phone call thing. There's people that wanted want you for ten thousand bucks. I mean, you know, that's their. They'll try and make a profit on that. I don't really care. People like the stuff I give them. If you can, if, if, now, if you only go once, 
Here's the thing about advertising. All of it works. By the way, I'm going to grab this before I forget. Um, all of it works. Or at least 50% of it works. Okay? Here's the problem. Finding out what 50%. And I've said this before. My business coach was a professor of advertising. Okay? He's the one who got me to do a lot of the stuff that we do. One of the things that you have to look at is you have to test. Take, if you're going to go door knocking, take an area of, take one subdivision. Okay? Now, if you, let's talk about one subdivision. One subdivision, it could be 200 houses, it could be 600 houses, it could be 1,000 houses. Here's what you want to know. How many houses sold there last year? Okay, total. How many sold by the top agent in the year? How much money was there to be made if all the houses sold and they made a 3% commission on one side? Okay, so in other words, let's say that you're taking Clearwater Beach at a condominium, like one of these high rises that's 40 stories, 40, or, you know, what do they got, 160, 200 units in them, some of them? Okay. Median price of, starting at the low level, let's say the median price in there is $500,000. Okay, so let's just do the math. For, what did I say? Two, let's say 200 units, $500,000, how much is that? 10 million? No. 100 million in sales? No, 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 200. Well, okay. All right, so 200, and let's say it's got a 10% turnover rate, 20 houses. 20 units sell at half a million each, that's $10 million in sales. At 3% is 300,000 bucks in commissions in one building alone. Okay? See how easy that is to start saying, Okay, is that the kind of number you could get excited about? All right, now, if, what's it going to take me to get 25% of that business? What's it going to take me to get? Is it ever possible for me to get half? I'm going to tell you the answer to that is probably no. All right, just, just think of that. It's probably not. So, but if you're happy with, you can probably get 25%. 25% would be what, 125,000? Mm -hmm. Roughly? Let's say you got 30%. Okay, 30% is 100,000 in income. Just in one area, you don't ever have to leave the building. And if you double, that's only one side, that's the listing side. So let's say that you sell 50% of your own listings or 50% of the buyers, you made $150,000 and you didn't leave home if you're living in that condo. See how you can work this on anything? Now, let's take the other side. Let's say that you're working in an area where the price level is a hundred and fifty thousand bucks and you want a subdivision that's a thousand houses and exclude the reos uh, let's say the turnover rate in there is ten okay ten percent thousand houses a hundred houses that get sold let's say that 25 percent of them are reo or short sales so you're left with 75 sales 150,000, you're looking at, let's round it to a $5,000 commission times 75, okay? So, let's, matter of fact, move it up to 100. So, $500,000 in a thousand home subdivision, okay? Now, is that worth it to work? It may well be. What's the competition doing? Is there any competition? Who's the number one agent in that area? Who's the number two agent in that area? Do they control more than 25% of that business? Do they control more than 30% of that business? If not, that's probably worth going after. Here's the nice thing about $150,000 places. Right now, they last three days on the market. I just listed one yesterday. I got four offers on it, okay? So, I mean, the nice thing, the bad thing about a million dollar house, you gotta spend more marketing that is not necessarily cost effective for you. It's like, let's placate the seller. Let's put it in previews. Not that I'm not in previews, but previews is what, 3,000 bucks a page? 2,000 bucks a page? They want big posters, they want this, they want that, and you still may not sell a house. Okay, at 150,000 in this market, this, and if, if you price it right, it's probably gone. So this is how you need to analyze it. So my question for you guys is, where do you want to work? Write it down. Where would you like to work? Think about it right now. Okay, it shouldn't take you too long. All right. How much bit, how much money do you think there is to be made in, in where you want to work? Total commissions.
Okay, everybody got some idea in your mind? All right, how much money, how much percentage of that do you think you can physically get in the next two years that you can actually capture in the next two years if you work your butt off? Any, any ideas? Somebody give me a number. 30%. So you could get 30%. How much would that represent to you in cash? That would be probably... Landsbrook? Well, Median price for all of Landsbrook? If well, you took if you go back there, Robinwood, uh, President's Landing. Let's call it 300000 Would that be a, too high too low? Too low, but it's fine. Maybe 350, 400. Okay, let's call it 400. 400, how many houses in Landsbrook? In Landsbrook? Well, in that, in, well, in this, where do you want to work? There's about 600 houses that okay. I that I target. Okay, 400 in, in Landsbrook. Okay, so 600. So what's the turnover rate? Any idea? 12 percent. 12 percent? Yeah, it's not. Well, but that's high. I bet if you people will think because they've said 10 percent turnover rates are a lot lower than you think. Yeah, they have right. been. Okay, and. Turnover rates, of so forget the REOs, because you can't get those. Okay, maybe you can, but that's a that's a personal decision you need to make as to whether you want to do it. Okay, let's say that the turnover rate's 5%. That's probably more likely, all right? So 600 homes, 5%, that's 30 houses a year at a $12,000 commission. What's that? 30, that's 120, that's 360,000? Okay. 360,000 possible would be made. All right? What's, what's your percentage right now that you get right now? Selling? Yeah, listing stock. 3%? No, 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 no. How much, how much market share do you have in there right now? Not much. A okay. Bit. All right, 1%, 2%, 5%? Like okay. Probably. So let's say, let's say you made 30 grand there last year, right? You got nothing, nowhere to go but up. Let's say you could capture 10% of that market in three years. And that's possible to be done if you put your mind to it. Remember I said I was going to give myself one year. Here's where my numbers went from 2004, and here was my game plan to 2000, let's call it 13. My game plan was in 2004, by the end of 2008, I wanted to have... 10% of my original 3,000 homes, and then I was going to add and wanted to have 2% um, of the rest of all of Northwest Tampa. Okay? Now, Northwest Tampa is 60, oh, it's almost, it's almost 80 square miles, um, and it is 12 zip codes. Okay? My mailers go out to 20,000 people give you an idea of how many people, let's call that my market area, all right? So I've got up to 1.25% of my original market area. That's as strong as I could get. And Julie will know this, I'm really competitive going, why would they list with somebody else but me? I don't understand this. I don't really know, okay? But I am extremely competitive. But here's the thing, the reason it gets hard to get more than that is people don't, you know, People don't know who the last guy ran for vice president was, and they spent a lot of money on advertising. If you're going to go to get your cataracts removed, I'm getting to the age where that's up. Uh, you've heard of St. Luke's, but who's the doctor at St. Luke's? Okay, is there somebody who's better? Okay, if you're going to get your heart operated on, do you know who to talk to? Not really. You're going to get a recommendation from somebody. I, this lady said the other two days ago, I listed her house. She said, I am really glad you send this stuff out because I wouldn't know who to pick, and they don't. I don't care how good you think you are, they just don't know. So anyway, I got up to 25% and the highest I've been is 5% of the total market, okay? <coughs> to give you some idea, and I watch the numbers now, you can see how much I spend on advertising, okay? And I know my numbers pretty well. And I'm willing to spend more on advertising. I mean, I might spend, you know, I, I'd like to get social media working in there better, but I am really bad at that. Okay, and no one, I, I've looked at the numbers of all the top people and none of them are social media fanatics. If you can tell me that it actually works, I'll do it. Okay, but right now I know what works for me. Now, social media, by the way, can work for you. Remember I said if you're willing to track everything that you do. Now, and I'm including, if I were to take, what's your, has anybody ever figured out your billing rate an hour? 
Like if you said, I work a 40 hour week or a 50 hour week, and now this time of year I probably work 50 to 60 hours a week, okay? Winter time I might work 30. 